Okay, so this is number five on the Algebra 2 practice test, and it says which expression is the correct factorization of x to the sixth minus y to the sixth. Now we can think, we've learned how to do quadratics, and we've learned how to do cubic functions as far as factoring, but when it gets to the higher, higher powers, we need to look at maybe rewriting it as something else that we are familiar with. So if you look at this, you think, well, properties of exponents, I can rewrite this as x cubed squared minus y cubed squared. All right, so if I do that, I'm just using my properties of exponents again to rewrite a power to a power you multiply, so 3 times 2 is 6, so this is the same expression. So now we can say let a or some variable, doesn't matter, we don't know what x is, so we can say let a equal x cubed and let b equal y cubed. And if we do that, we're going to substitute a and b in for our expression. So we're going to have a, still have the squared, minus b, and we still have the squared, and now that looks like a difference of squares. So we know that that is rewritten as a plus b times a minus b. All right, so if I come back over here and I go back to my original problem here, now that I've factored it, I'm going to substitute my original variables back in. Okay, so this is the factored form. This is reduced as far as I can go with my new variables, but now I'm going to plug in my original variables. So I'm going to go back and say a equals x cubed, so I'm going to plug in x cubed plus b, b equals y cubed, and then same thing here, plug in x cubed minus y cubed. Alright, now we have a sum and a difference of cubes. So you can see I've put the formulas down here. Again, this is formulas that you learn in Algebra 2 or Math 3, and these are formulas that you kind of need to commit to memory. The easiest thing is if you have a sum of cubes or a difference of cubes, you can remember something called SOAP. And SOAP kind of helps you remember how to factor it. So you're going to start with S, which is the same sign. So we're going to start with the same sign. So let's go ahead and do x cubed plus y cubed. So I'm going to start with x plus y. And then I'm going to have opposite sign. O is for opposite sign. And then this plus is always positive. So SOAP tells you what the signs for the factored form will be. And then you can see here with the negative, it's x minus, same sign. And then plus is the opposite sign. And then the plus is always positive again. When you square something, it's always positive. So SOAP kind of helps you remember that. And that helps you to factor this a little easier. So then we've got x squared minus xy plus y squared. And that's when you factor this first sum of cubes. Now we also have to factor the difference of cubes. So it's going to be the second one. So it's going to be x minus y. And same thing, we're going to have, um, this was the same sign, opposite sign, always positive. So x squared plus xy plus y squared. If you can read my writing there. All right, so if we look over here, um, the correct answer is going to be C because we've got the X plus and minus here. There's those. And then we have the X squared plus Y squared. That's here. And then the X squared minus is here. So again, we had to substitute a different variable in with lower powers using our properties of exponents that we rewrote and then you have to substitute the original variables back in and then use your sum and difference of cubes to factor that. So the correct answer here would be C.